Hello there again, minions. Wheezy here today. I'm going to show you how to unlock the ZRG 20mm sniper rifle in Cold War as quickly as possible. And while you're at it, if you haven't already done so, how to unlock the Street Sweeper shotgun. Because I hadn't unlocked it, so I did them together. Here's going to be how you do that. Let's go talk. All right, so first here, let's look at the challenges. For the ZRG20, you need to get two long shot medals in 10 different matches. For the Street Sweeper Shotgun, you need to get three kills without dying, so a three kill streak in 15 different matches. So thankfully, it's only 10 for the sniper, it's 15 for the shotgun, so obviously there will be a little bit of overlap, but you also may not get these every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed run you through the build here just so you can kind of see what I did. The only thing to really note for the sniper, we're gonna be focusing on hardcore nuketown. So aim down sight time is really kind of the main thing you need to look at. Other than that, it's gonna be one hit kill all the time. I mean, um, and then for the shotgun build, I recommend the um, the Gallo shotgun and uh, try to spec it out for maximum range, maximum damage range, because in hardcore, it's a one hit kill. So the more range you can get, the further that one hit kill is gonna go. Um, I will pause at the end of this just to kind of show you my overall loadout. Um, and again, it's not too critical for hardcore, but this, you know, just to make it as easy as possible for you, uh, here's what I did. So um, I've got the uh, sniper, the Tundra, the Gallo. Uh, the only thing that I switched out later on for this is the stun grenade. I would swatch, switch that out for a stim shot just because in hardcore you do not regenerate health at all. So if you get winged, it's always good to have that stim shot on hand to kind of get you back to full health. But uh, I'm going to show you uh, not just what you've probably seen from other places about the common places to get sniper shots, which is basically this long line of sight, but if you run into traffic, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to find some alternate ways to get this. But um, I did hardcore. I tried regular on Nuketown. Um, I actually enjoyed doing Miami Strike 24/7 playlist for a while, although that got taken away like while I was in the middle of testing it. I got a reboot forced to me, uh, and then it disappeared. But uh, the most common places you'll see people trying to get this challenge is along this long line of sight on Nuketown between the garage to the spawn on this side and it's basically from both directions so um, here about a week on after the ZRG uh, has been out you'll probably see less traffic but you still will probably run into it and uh, because it's Cold War and unlike Modern Warfare you cannot just quit out of the game after you get the kills uh, for your challenge you have to complete the game for it to actually process uh, the reason I say you should combine these is because you're gonna have to stay in the match till the end after you get your two long shots, so you might as well be doing other stuff. If you haven't unlocked the Street Sweeper, that's a good option. After you get your two long shots, switch over to the shotgun, uh, get your three kill streak, and uh, and yeah, then you, you're basically getting two for one. If you, if you do manage to do this kind of perfectly, you will have, you know, five more games after the sniper to get this sh shotgun unlocked, but hell, you might as well be doing it anyway. Um, a note here on this garage side, you can see the guy coming up on the side of the house. That was not a long shot. Um, I'm not the best sniper in the world. Uh, and this was the non-hardcore one, I believe. Um, but further back in the yard, you'll see they are a long shot. So make sure every time you get a kill with a sniper that you're looking at the medals at the top of the screen and making sure that they actually pop up and say long shot so you can get those two long shots. So there I got unlocked a camo, but um, no, the medals will pop up after uh if you get it or not. So make sure it says long shot twice. So I know that after that camo, I didn't get a long shot medal, so I've got to get one more. I come back here, that shot, that one did proc as a long shot. So now I've got my two long shots, switch to shotgun, uh, and I'm gonna go try and get my three kill streak here. Uh, and I am gonna show you on this, you can check to see that you've made the progress you want. So there's two. Um, you can check in your create a class whether or not the challenge has made process, but what I have seen, uh, progress, not process, what I have seen is that sometimes the sniper challenge would not update during the game and the shotgun would. So it's not 100%, trust the medals. If you see the two long shot medals, uh, there you go. But in your create a class, if you scroll down to the, un the, the still locked shotgun, it will tell you if you've you know completed another instance of that challenge. But again, unlike in Modern Warfare, you cannot leave the game and get credit. You have to finish out 
all 10 slash 15 of these games. Um, so here's just a, an example of the kind of traffic you might see if you're in a lobby where uh, multiple people are trying to complete the ZRG challenge at the same time. Uh, you can see it from both sides where people will be stacked up in the garage here as well, um, just trying to get those long shots to unlock the sniper. As this goes, there should be less of this. I think this was the day after the sniper was released, so it was uh, it was still pretty pretty busy. Um, but here we'll start to get into a little bit of the kind of alternate shots. So there you can see the camo pops up, boom, that's a long shot, I get popped. Um, so what I realized pretty quickly is that I was going to need places that not everyone in the game was looking, especially in hardcore when it's so easy to kill you. So I figured, you know what, maybe I'll just try and take a shot through this door down that hallway. And sure enough, I got a hit, I backed up and I was like, I wonder if I can do that again. Uh, obviously there's going to have to be someone standing on the other side and you won't know, so you'll just have to kind of take test shots. But um, that is another option. But remember, with the wall penetration, it goes both ways. So they will be looking for you down there so they can shoot you back. But that's an option if there's a lot of traffic. Um, this fence spot ended up being pretty good. Uh, I figured I would, after having that success with the door, I figured I would try some fence pen penetration here. And what I discovered is um, you, you kind of get a guess and check. You can watch this video and kind of see how I lined it up. But also if people jump up above the fence over there, that is also far enough for a long shot as you see the metal pop up over there. So um, I pressed myself all the way against the back fence here uh, to try and do that but just to make sure that you get as much distance as possible for the long shot. But you'll see here, um, just kind of taking random shots through the gate and checking different angles. I do get one to pop there. <laughs> so um, you can, in hardcore, because of the incredible damage with the snipers, you can just take some penetration shots and, uh, and just try and get lucky. So that's another uh, option. I'm gonna show you one more clip here. Uh, I think this is a guy, again, jumping up on top of the fence to show you this isn't just the people that you're penetrating back in their spawn, but also if they hop up on that fence, boom, camo unlock, bling, 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 long shot. So, so there you go. Uh, another option back on the garage side here where we're shooting towards the garage. I believe I murdered the teammate there. There's a long shot in the garage, but then I figured, hey, you know, if it worked once on that side, <laughs> Try through this fence, and sure enough, long shot through the fence on that side uh, towards the people coming from their spawn along there towards the middle objective. So uh, there is stuff that on domination that does potentially block this line of sight. So keep that in mind. But uh, again, when you're going for these penetration shots, it can be it can be a nice little bonus to just spam some shots through a wall and uh, and get lucky, especially like I said with with high traffic and with people trying to do these unlocks. Um, so there's another one, long shot through there. So <laughs> that ended up being uh, surprisingly fun for a couple of these. And I found myself uh, in some of these games, you know, after you get your shotgun streak, after you get your sniper kills, um, just testing out some of these to try and figure out additional places I could get shots from in future games. Um, so one other one that I saw, uh, mainly because I got shot from this one, I was like, oh, how did that guy get up there? If you can, it's, it can be a little tricky if the vault animation plays, but if you can get yourself to just jump and then land on the railing, you can see uh, down somewhat towards this side here. You can't get too far out before you fall. Shooting at the B flag is not gonna be a long shot, but if you get someone behind that fence over there, that will be a long shot. That might be a good way to catch people a little bit unawares there. Um, but again, keep in mind, it can be very easy to fall off. One of the easier ways I found is actually just to jump on the handrail like that and then walk it out to the corner. Uh, and <laughs> even then, you just take a take one half step too far and you'll fall right back off. But So this one wasn't one of my favorite ones, but it is an option, especially if the other spots start filling up, people start to realize where you're going for shots. Um, that can be one. Uh, as it turned out, my favorite one ended up being over here, at least as far as, uh, I would say reliability. There's not a lot of competition, but if you shoot uh, back up all the way against the back of this fence over here, I think I murdered a teammate. <laughs> I think I thought an enemy was coming. Um, I think this first shot you'll see uh, is not going to be a long shot, but if you're backed all the way up against the fence and the enemy is on the far side of the bus, so you'll see there that, that was not a long shot, um, and you'll see I kind of take a couple steps back. But if you're against the fence and they come out from behind the bus, then uh, any of the kills you get from here will be long shots. And I did not see much competition over here at all. And it is, you may wait here longer than other places to take shots at people, but during a game of... Uh, of hardcore or, or nuketown in general, you will find people peeking this bus to try and get shots at the upstairs window. 
Uh, and you might even get some bonus kills. That was not a long shot of people coming down this this way. Um, I think the first guy that I shot here ends up kind of coming back for revenge or something. But um, yeah, so that does count as a long shot there. Uh, I think this might be the one I was thinking of where I where I get two in a row with a guy coming down for uh, for revenge. So pop that guy, and I believe he respawns and comes back. And for the game, this is. Bingo bongo, you know, two long shot. Oh wait, no, I got some traffic. That's right. <laughs> so, not not no competition, but less. Um, okay, so let's get into uh, the shotguns. You do because it's so easy to die in hardcore. Um, the shotgun is great at getting kills, but it's so easy for your streak to get broken by a random bullet. So the suggestion that I will give for Nuketown with the shotguns, if you can't just, you know, figure it out on your own moving through the map, is to stay on the second floor of either building and watch the backyards and even the street, just because you surprisingly do have the range you need from up here, and you can just hip fire these one hit kill shots uh, down from above as opposed to when you're down low where most people are looking and where the random machine gun fire is going to be tearing through buildings it's a lot easier when you're down low to have just a random shot tear through you um, so what I found is that these upstairs buildings were actually uh, quite a bit more consistent for getting the streaks that I needed with a shotgun so um, so yeah overall I mean I, without getting too much into commentary for these kinds of challenges. I think it is irritating that they require these kind of like m long series of games to unlock weapons like this. You know, obviously the intent is to encourage you to just buy them from a, from a bundle uh, and spend real world money on them and make this uh, irritating enough uh, that you won't necessarily want to go through it. Especially since in Modern Warfare, at least you could complete the two kills or three kills, whatever it was for whatever the weapon unlock was, leave the lobby, join a new lobby, and you can knock the entire thing out in an hour, which had a couple of advantages. One, yes, people would be leaving games, but honestly, the people who are doing these challenges, you don't want in your games anyway. So <laughs> so it, it's better for everybody to just let people get the challenge, quit out, and I think that's probably more Treyarch incompetence than anything. Um, this last clip I'm going to show you was actually just a fun clip since I was already in hardcore. I think this was the... Um, last game, yeah, I think it was, I had unlocked the shotgun, so I'd already unlocked the sniper, you saw at the beginning of the clip. Um, I was, this was the last game to unlock the shotgun. I'd already got my three kill streak, so I'm just waiting for the match to end, so I decided to use the stoner LMG for some fun wall penetration good times, so um, I'll, I'll, I'll th roll this clip in there, and it has a fun ending, which is typical of Cold War, uh, as I kind of wrap this up, but yeah, with Cold War, or the Call of Duty games in general, kind of having these long grinds to unlock weapons, you know, it gets, it's a little frustrating, a little irritating, especially when, again, you have to wait for the entire match to end. So, I mean, we're talking 15 matches, and let's call it on Nuketown 10 to, it could be 15 minutes, but let's call it about 10, 12 minutes you, per match. You, for 15 matches, I mean, 150, you're talking over two hours of gameplay, doing stuff that really you kind of probably don't want to do. I mean, if you're a if you're kind of a someone that goes in and plays hardcore anyway, then then maybe this isn't as much of a uh, of a of a challenge for you. Maybe it's not that much out of your way. You'll be doing this anyway, and you could stack on some other challenges if you wanted to. <laughs> LMG kills, for instance. Um, but I don't know. I, I just it's a bit of a grind, so I wanted to show you guys the best possible way to do it in as in as little time as possible. Um, and uh, just to kind of wrap it up here after I got that kill, waiting for the match to end, the game locked up, crashed on a bug, and what I was worried about <laughs> was, oh no, does that mean I have to play my 15th match again with the shotgun before it'll process? Because I didn't get to the end of the match, um, but I launched back into the game, and as it turned out, luckily it had processed that 15th one, and I did unlock the shotgun, so mercifully I didn't have to go back in <laughs> to another match to try and grind out the, another three kill streak so um, hopefully that's helpful for you guys hopefully uh, this will help you unlock stuff and not waste uh, you know waste as little time as possible trying to unlock these weapons and again if you're like me and you didn't bother to unlock the street sweeper or you tried the modern warfare thing where you went in got your three kill streak left the match I did that for literally 15 matches and it didn't unlock even though the counter showed all 15 so in case you gave up on the Street Sweeper, if you still want to unlock the ZRG and you haven't unlocked the Street, street, street Sweeper, this is a great opportunity to double them up. So if that was helpful, leave me a like. If uh, you want to waste your time, 
playing hardcore for no reason. Leave me a dislike, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.